Thank you so much for joining me. I'm a little late getting to it today, but welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday with the Tech Ninja. I'm your host, Kat Milner, Chief Tech Ninja for Simplify Your Tech. Now, today is all about lead magnets. What are they and why do you need them? So if you are in business for yourself, which I'm assuming you are, because otherwise, why would you be here? Um, it is Lead magnets are all about connecting with potential clients and bringing them into the, your world and creating that relationship with them so that they know, like, and trust you. And hopefully, eventually, will become actual clients. So a lead magnet can honestly be anything. If you have written a book or are part of a book and you can take a chapter or a segment of that and turn it into a PDF, that's a great lead magnet. You can uh, do a little video or record a meditation, have some tips or some tricks or your top five things that you've learned, whatever that is. You can do like a ton of stuff and make that into a lead magnet. And then what happens is you'll create a landing page, which is basically a one page mini website that's all about that lead magnet. It talks about what it is, who it's for, and how it can help them. Now, the main thing with the lead magnet is you want to give your potential clients value. You want to show them that working with you can get them where they want to go. But obviously, you don't want to share everything with them because you want them to come and work with you. So the trick, excuse me, is to give them the big picture. Here's where they are. Here's where they want to be. There's no bridge to get them there. But what you show them is that you have a plan that can help them get from A to B. But you don't get them completely from A to B. You show them a little tiny bit so that they get a small win and go, wow, what they do, what she does really works. I want to learn more. That is the entire goal of the lead magnet. Now, what you want to do is have that landing page for the lead magnet, and then you'll have a form that they have to fill out. It may be a pop-up, it may be a secondary page, but something where they put in their full name and their email address. You can ask for phone number two, but at the very least, you want their full name and address. And I usually split it up where it's first name, last name, and email address. That way, when I contact them, I can put in my automation, hi, first name, not the full name. But I do recommend getting that, that last name because you may end up with 300 clients named Cliff and not know which one you want to talk to sometimes. So having first name and last name really is pretty important. Then you get sure that let you make sure that that let I can talk really I can that that lead magnet goes out to them. Usually it's set up through an automation so that when they submit the form, they automatically get emailed out that lead magnet. And then you have maybe about a week or so worth of content where every day or every couple of days you send out another email with some value, you create this relationship. And then at the very end, you invite them onto a discovery call to hopefully become a paying client. It really is that simple. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. And if you would like to know more and get my, my lead magnet, which is 15 different ideas of lead magnets that can be created in less than 30 minutes, comment on this post and I or drop a note below in the YouTube video and I will get that out to you. See you soon.